New protests are forming at campuses across Northern California. Take a look. Campuses like Sonoma State, Sacramento State, and San Francisco State. Pro-Palestinian protesters are directing demands toward their university and the entire CSU system, which represents 23 campuses statewide. We have an update now from Stanford. University leaders there are now warning students of consequences for those who camp in on campus there, those demonstrations. NBC Bay Area's Marianne Favreau reports from Stanford's campus tonight. Marianne. The number of protesters here at White Plaza has grown in just the last three days. There are now 23 tents out here, despite the warning from the university that students that camp out here overnight could be expelled. This tent community in White Plaza is a new home for dozens of student activists who say they're fighting for peace in Palestine. The genocide has been occurring for 200 plus days and it has not stopped. And right now we need to stand up more than ever to call for a ceasefire. And Demonstrators are also calling for Stanford to divest in companies including Chevron, HP and Lockheed Martin that students claim are supporting military efforts against the Palestinian people. With these companies, these have distinct ties to Israel. Um, for example, Lockheed Martin literally supplies weaponry to Israel and has been transporting these weapons that are being used against the Palestinian people. The call to action is getting strong support campus wide. Preliminary results of a recent student election at Stanford found more than 70% of undergrad and grad students supported the university issuing a statement on divestment. Meanwhile, the university has emailed and handed out dozens of letters to students warning them that camping here overnight violates university policies and they could face suspension. The university did not confirm today if any protesting students have been suspended or expelled. At USC, the university canceled the main commencement because of security concerns after protests there. And Cal Poly Humboldt shut down the campus and switched to online learning after students barricaded themselves inside two buildings last week. I think it's likely that other universities will use remote learning as a way to try and manage the protests on campus. It strikes me as an odd response. These are protests, not you know, snowstorms. At Sonoma State, protesters plan to camp out for a third night as they call for an end to the violence in Gaza. And protesting students at Berkeley continue to sleep in tents in front of Sproul Hall, joining forces with students at campuses across the nation, hoping their unity will elevate their message and lead to change. At Stanford, Marianne Favreau, NBC Bay Area News.